this is a good game, actually. Uh, just let me check my notes to try and remember what this game was. I think it's a... Yeah, it's a tri -Brigade. So, yeah, a lot of my replays were tri uh for the towards the end of the season. It's, it's a deck that just seems to be quite prominent at the top of uh, Platinum. So I wish I had some like more varied replays in the case, but it's just a case of this is what's being played there. Oh, we'll get to the 34 turn game. Don't yes. worry. Yes. <laughs> I have faults. I have faults about that game. Try every game player, Bear Brum, Desires. Yep. You again it's with okay. the no hand trap, but it doesn't matter because our opponent is on Fire Fist. I, I do want to stress actually, like if you're looking for a good entry level uh, competitive deck, Tri Brigade is very strong because it's good against everything. It's, it's, it's good against everything. It doesn't have any. It doesn't feel like it does anything. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So yeah, this is this is actually kind of really awful to play into because I'm usually expecting Appaloosa and a Shiraz interaction, and instead my opponent set a bunch of cards, and we can think about the cards that's commonly played in Tri Brigade, which is going to be I'm the sorry. Tri Brigade Revolt. It's going to be impermanent. It's going to be called by the grave. Um, Did he just I'm not? Do anything. I need to see what that Nerval did. Adds Kit. So you, he normal summon, he fractal sent Kit, Kit sent Nerval, yep. Nerval added Kit, and he summoned Kit. Why? Yep. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's not a great start for, for opponent, but there's okay. a lot of interaction there in the back row if you want to get Yeah, through. no kidding. You know what? <laughs> But right, I'm so you've got the, because... He's going to taste the rainbow here. There's like no two ways about that. Yep. And don't worry. I remember last week we tried to replay me playing my spell starting into a perm lane. I remember this time. We got a little bit smarter. <laughs> a little bit smarter. Ah, yeah, I remember him. All right. Summon a Chi Chi, MST, summon infant, confiscation, cool. Yeah. I, I, I think that's fine, especially when you've already drawn two of your field spells. Yeah, you, you literally just plus two'd. Like, you, you did yeah. two trades, but yours were not neg ones. Like Again, and this is something that is, uh, I was stressing. It's a case of doing, making moves where I've already got the follow-up, but I want to bait my opponent into blowing every possible interaction so that I can then just go ahead and continue my combo. Because for them, they want to stop my setup, but they don't know exactly how much of my setup I already have. And it's kind of playing your opponent in that stage. Yes. Because they could wait. Uh, but then it's a huge, it's a huge liability if they wait. Yeah, so opponents now just uh, thrown their entire back row at me and think that they've got me locked out at this point. And and sure, I got the non-targeting vanish, take out the field spell, presumably. Nerval's gonna yeah. search. Kit's gonna dump. Yeah, so he's now looking for his follow-up turn because he thinks he's gonna kill okay me. Which is probably quite strong when you consider the opponent started off with just uh, a bunch of back row. Oh, yeah. uh, not like a huge negate. That's the thing about Tri Brigade is that it, it's you're gonna always get to do it. But that's that's the fundamental. Oh my god, yeah. infant. Uh, yeah, I know that was a mistake. <laughs> that, that's the if fundamental thing of all Fire Fist decks is that every hand is playable. It's just that every hand is underwhelming. Yeah, if you're a Tri Brigade player uh, in that situation, don't don't do that. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, you had the backup card. field spell anyway, so he accidentally did the right thing, but. But yeah, you've got to consider that they went through Ash Blossom and Impermanence to keep me off of that field spell, and then decided to let me keep it when they had the chance to take it as well. So I'm surprised they didn't overly commit to uh, taking it out, but it just is what it is. Uh, I'm sure the player had a strategy in mind when they went for that play. And yeah, it's just a case of oh, my opponent had, conveniently has three monsters, and I can have three activations of transcode talker yeah not transcode access, access code yeah talker. and we well, know his we hand like is fractal him. he's got a full graveyard like he would have like plenty of like link summons with yeah. it but or as i like to think of him the Yu -Gi oh chad <laughs> all the attack points all of the actions you can't respond to him life of the party yeah how Get this card is I, this card should at the very least go to one i have won more games because there was a second access code talker in my deck than I've lost count, I have. While that Gem Knight deck is legal, they shouldn't do anything to access Code Talker. Just yeah, saying. That's fair. <laughs> Just saying. 